Howdy folks, Lyft here, and if your mower isn't cutting it like it used to, or if it's leaving a mohawk on your lawn, you probably need sharper blades. So today we're going to replace old blades with new ones. You can get them at a hardware store or online. Um, this mower is a Cub Cadet, but the overall process is similar for lots of different riding mowers, so it may or may not apply to yours. It'll probably be helpful either way. You'll probably need the following tools, pliers, a big wrench, for the nuts on the bottom of the blades and some PB blaster to loosen those nuts possibly and a 2x4 to brace the blades while you're loosening them. So let's get started. First we're going to lower the mower deck all the way down to the ground. Next we're going we're to remove the three pins. There's one in the back on each side and then there's one in the front. So you may or may not need pliers to pull these off. Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they don't. And so you get the one on each side and then the one in the front middle. We're going to remove the holders also. There we go. The bars on each side of the mower deck, those are what lift it up off the ground. Next, we're going to push the deck forward to remove, loosen the belt so we can remove it. And then we'll slide the deck out from underneath the tractor. You might have to get those bars out of the way, fiddle with them a little bit. And then we flip it over to reveal the horrible, horrible blades. <laughs> and that's how bad grass can uh, <laughs> destroy metal. Okay, next we're going to remove the nut from each blade and you need to brace the blade against the side with a piece of wood or something like that. Something soft, you don't want to use something hard or you'll dent the, the uh, new blades or the side. And you can use PB Blaster to loosen them or you can use an impact wrench if you have one. That definitely helps. There's the new blades versus the old blades. Big, big difference. Many of them have grass side or some kind of indicator to tell you which side goes down. We're going to put the new blades on in place and then we're going to put the nuts on and then we will tighten them down with either the wrench or our impact wrench depending on what you have and again you use a 2x4 for that and then you're going to flip the deck back over and put the belt back into place make sure it's on all the pulleys that it needs to be on then we're going to slide it back underneath the tractor and we'll put the belt back on to the front pulley and then put all the holders and the pins back in. Both on the front and the back. You might have to pull pretty hard to get that back there. And same thing on the other side. Now, mine, the belt gets really tight, so I have to do this alternate method. I have to unhook the end of the spring here to let the tensioner uh, give you all the slack and then I put it back on just like just like the uh, other method we put it back on and we put the pins back in and then this spring is sitting here so in order to put the spring back into place on the holder I use a cargo strap and brace it against something obviously heavy like a car or whatever and then we tighten that back out and use that to to put the hook back on but now they're both on there so we just have to let the cargo strap go there you go you can see they're both hooked on there so all we do is release the cargo strap and now the spring the tensioner spring is back in place and there you go and that's how you change the blades on a mower and so that should fix all your dull blade problems enjoy and thanks for watching <laughs>